Of all the bird shooting there is, not much represents the same challenge as decoying wood pigeons. These birds fly up to 90 miles an hour, can turn faster than a fighter jet, and have 340 degree vision. These birds live together in large flocks and are known for destroying farmers' fields, and so their numbers need to be controlled. But when I got the chance to join George Digweed, the best shotgun shooter who has ever lived on a day's pigeon decoying, how could I refuse? <laughs> Some of the things that have been said to me in a pigeon eye this afternoon need to remain in that pigeon eye. <laughs> Digweed, I'm back with George Digweed. I'm very excited, by the way. You need to get out more. I've told you that <laughs> thousands of times before. We're here shooting pigeons today. Yep. I think I've watched pretty much every pigeon shooting video we've ever done over the years. This is going to be cool. There's a nice lot of pigeons coming here. We've been able to get on a field of late barley that's been undersown with rape. Still quite a lot of heads on the ground that I think the pigeons are coming to, but we don't want them to get on the rape. Hopefully, we can do a decent job of getting them under control. We've stuck technology on our guns again. How are you feeling about that? Very interested to see how it performs on live quarry. Last time we shot it was clays, which are a stable flight line. A wild bird is completely different. Lines, angles, speeds change. We're on the slightly upgraded version now. Yeah, Acro S2 with eye dominance problems, mounting issues. The line will be sorted out. I really do think that for a certain level of shooter, it's a massive benefit. Quite how we get on with it, I don't know, but uh, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating this afternoon. Let's go. It'll allow you to stand up, they won't see you, you'll be quite surprised. Tell me what you think at the end of the day. It I, do, I think that I'd feel a lot worse with a mirror right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel ridiculous right now. You shouldn't. I mean, shouldn't. that is a lot of tech. Yeah. On a semi-automatic, I mean, I feel this is full Call of Duty, like, mods and specs. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say let's get down and uh, shoot some pigeons after George. We've finally finished up getting set up now. We've got our kill area which is out in front of us, mainly to our left. It'll be very interesting now to see what happens. Nice lot of birds here. Pigeon shooting's a great sport, although it's also doing a job. Um, let's get into it and see what we can do. Yeah, so about sight picture through that red dot, I shot it enough last time to get used to just having to open the gaps so that they look visually bigger. I think that's because I would perhaps use less gun speed because you're constantly aware of the dot. But so far, so good. I mean, I'm shooting pigeons with George Digweed, for goodness sake, how could you not be happy? This arrangement, we'll get used to that. The aerial acrobatic skill of a pigeon is always surprising when you see these plump gray birds waddling around on the side of the road. One could be forgiven for thinking that they would be incapable on the wing, but the reality is that these birds provide every type of sporting shot you could ask for. High fast crosses, low curling crosses, coming straight at you. Just got to shoot it naturally. Yeah, Just... the moment you get drawn into aiming, you're doomed. Yeah. Right? Same as last time, the lead perception with the red dot. Everything needs to be opened up versus what I think I'd usually see. It's really no wonder that pigeons and the pursuit thereof has captured the hearts and heads of so many hunters over the years. Mate, you found the magic with that. I've got to say, it's, it took me a few shots to start with and I felt that shooting, sitting down, I was lifting my head. Then I worked out what you've actually got to do with it. It's, it's slightly different to the normal picture we would see but I'm now shooting them sitting down and shooting them fairly consistently. But I'm having to 
because it's sat down, your head's lower and the gun's more up in the air, I'm feeling as I've got to come just a little bit lower on the yeah. line. It's not detracting from my shooting at all. Um, now I've worked out how to do it. And it's yeah. like anything, something new is going to take 10, 15, 20 shots to get into it. And now we've got into it, you're finding the same. Um, you know, you're killing them you know, really nicely yeah. now. We've got a nice lot of birds coming. Can I have a shot with your very beautiful? Absolutely. Birds? Just to say that, you know. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Let's have uh, It must be a wedding. Oh, there's a magician who's just lost his pets. Come in and shoot it. I'm going to sit with you for a minute and watch the greatness. Learn. Learn by osmosis. <laughs> you know what? Should have had a bacon roll. Did you abstain? Yeah, yeah I was very good. I had a banana. <laughs> Your life. I mean, I genuinely want to know, what would George Thigweed eat on the last day of his life? I can tell you exactly what it would be. I'm very lucky to go to Allen Heads, which is a very famous grouse moor. Lightly fried, young grouse, pink in the middle, and there is no finer food, I can assure you. I mean, you can't be just eating a big plate of grouse. Why not? What, what side are you having on the side? I'd have another portion. The thing is, mate, there's a lot of documents of you shooting pigeons, but no one ever asks you what your last meal would be. Now you've had me on there and we've had nearly half a million views, it must be, uh, you must go onto a whole different platform, don't you? Yeah, they've actually Sky contacted me and said, <laughs> the Johnny and George show would be great. You're going to travel the world eating oh, delicious yeah. food. I've got a couple of pigeons shit. to shoot first. Oh, 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 oh. I've just taken George Digweed's gun for a couple of shots. To George from the Parazzi family, champion of champions, signed 2013 vintage year. There's now a massive bonus to actually kill something with it, but... Uh... Barrel in front. Sounded like an excuse. A lot of people say that we look the same, George, <laughs> but I'm not 100% convinced that's the truth. Who is that, Stevie Wonder? <laughs> 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 taught me how to shoot. Over the last few years, it's become evident that when it comes to pigeons, nice shot. Every day's a school day, and even the most expert of countrymen will openly say that pigeons still surprise them. You've got to swing the gun just as you would normally. You cannot use the sight as a visual effect and try and put it on the bird. You've got to swing the gun as normal knowing that if you're seeing the red dot, you're mounted correctly and your line is fine. Yeah, well, this is why I just wanted to go out. If we were at Lord's, they'd be running around now checking that not a power cut and the scoreboard stopped. And how do you do that? How do you pull that out? Standing up. Three, yeah. Standing up, standing that's exactly up. what it is. And because you're standing up, that gun comes parallel. Yeah, it suddenly feels good, yeah. looks good, and the movements are much more natural. Absolutely. Here you go, Petta, Petta coming in. Oh, come on, I deserve a hug for like finishing off that bird you hit a little bit. It was about to die. I brought a Zolli for Pedder today, but actually the fit of this gun stock on this Zolli allows me to see through that red dot very, very easily. The semi did all right with, but I just had a couple of shots with this and found it very, very natural to not pay attention to the red dot. The key thing with these is not to look through the sight, but look past the sight and just use the red dot as your, this is where the death goes kind of thing. If you do manage to get inside the pigeon's head and the weather decides to play ball, a big day can be had. This can appear strange to some, but if I told you that their breeding population is 5 million pairs, and that those 5 million pairs breed all year round, you'll start to get an idea that shooting a handful of birds isn't going to make a dent in the agricultural damage they do. In fact, because these birds learn so quickly, it's important that when you do go and shoot them, you do the best job possible. Undercooked that first one with this wind. They, I mean, they're a big bird anyway. They're deceptive and easy to miss behind. And inevitably, we said one more bird and it's gone quiet for five minutes. So it's now a race between me and George, a gentleman's 
agreement as to who can shoot the first bird to come over. We've got two shots left. Brady <laughs> gun. <laughs> Don't Another mind my ears. <laughs> <laughs> We've come out today to try out this sight on a moving target, a wild bird. We've been very lucky in the fact that we've had an exceptional afternoon in the wind. I have to say that it took me a few shots to get into it because when we did our earlier when we did our earlier piece, it was on a on a clay on a straight line, um, and these move. So you're. It's not a, it's not an aid, it's not a shooting aid that is going to allow you to put it on the end of the gun and you shoot 100 pigeons for 100 shots. That's not what we've come out to prove. What we've actually come out to prove is that if you've got an eye dominance, if you've got a mounting issue, you can shoot this. It will help you to look at where the gun is shooting. It will help you to read the line of the bird better, but you still have to read each individual bird. It's not just about the shooting side of it, it's the awareness of yeah. where the birds are coming, what birds are coming into the decoys, which bird you need to shoot out of exactly. a group. Yeah. And, and, and the sight is not gonna help that. Once I used it in my peripheral vision, as opposed to trying to aim with it, yeah. then I shot pretty wow. much, yeah, yeah. well, pretty much where, where I would want to be. So the whole product is aimed. It's for people to have a visual awareness. Normally they get given a gun and they say, don't look at the barrel, just look at the object and away you go. And you're gonna mystically break it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But 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 the majority of people need some form of help to start with. And and for me, this visual aid is a massive, you know, even Peter said that, you know, he would buy one for his daughter because She's got a, an eye dominance problem and it would give her a visual aid to help her with her shooting. With regards to shooting live game, it's ticked all the boxes. It's an interesting thing, what we found last time with it being able to find line like that. As soon as you saw that red dot, you could easily pull off stuff. And all of us struggled with lead a bit to begin with because the red dot, I think we all get a bit too addicted. Yeah. But yeah, that, that line I found in real game terms seemed to be fairly well fixed as well. For the people that need help, yeah. it's a great piece of kit. Sure. But it's not going to solve your psychological issues in that kind of need help way. It definitely wouldn't solve your psychological issues, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> We're out here having fun, but also with crop protection in mind. Peter's put on a fantastic day. He's been watching it for a week to 10 days. Um, at this time of year to actually guarantee any form of pigeons is is an art and um, he got us right into the right into the pigeons got them decoying to us and i think we've had a fantastic day off the back of it well you shot the longest bird of the day did i Thank you for watching guys. This channel is made possible by our amazing sponsors. You can find out more about them in the description down below. And if you wanna support the channel, you can join as a member. You get loads of extra content, well, some extra content, and occasionally we hook up and go clay shooting together as a membership group. If you don't feel like joining today, we really appreciate you watching and subscribing. Have a wonderful day.